delays. However, the bad road conditions didn't stop Minot's Meals on Wheels program from delivering meals to those who need them. Reporter Natalie Gomez joins us now with more on its efforts. Natalie, good evening. That's right, guys. The Meals on Wheels program here in Minot delivers nutritious food to more than 400 seniors throughout Ward County uh, every week. You'd think that on a day like today, they would cancel their services, but they sure didn't. In total, there's about 20 volunteers hard at work prepping the food that will feed some of our seniors in the area. We provide meals uh, five days a week and then frozen meals on weekends and holidays. The cooks come in the day up, so it's as fresh as possible when it goes out. Salisbury steak um, and then vegetables, and, and that'll go out hot, and then we also send uh, uh, fruit out. But that's just today. The recipes change daily. Today's snow, though, will only allow Meals on Wheels to provide to less than half of their seniors. We usually have about 15 meal routes that we take, and we're probably down to about seven or eight meal routes today. But they've made sure the others are doing just fine. And we made phone calls to, uh, to our seniors this morning, and the ones that uh, said that they were fine, we're just going to keep that, you know, not, not try to get there, and we're just going to get to the ones that we think are most needy right now. He says it's important for him and his volunteers to provide this service no matter what the weather is. A lot of these folks we see, we're probably the only ones they see for the whole day. Knowing you get uh, or they get a hot meal for that day can make all the difference. Those who receive the meals are very thankful. Ken, there you go. You see what we have here? We have uh, steak, potatoes, and carrots. Now for me to cook that, it's hard, you know. Casket adds that the meals are just the right portions and are always tasty. Meals on Wheels will be back on track tomorrow. Lauren Chad, I'll send it back to you. Natalie Gomez reporting. Thanks, Natalie. Over in Dickinson, they had about four inches.